Alright, what up? Uh, since I seem to be taping everything these days, I figured I'd make a video on how I do a water change. So, you know, I'll show you how I do it. Uh, the method I use, I don't really, you know, I got tired of lifting buckets, you know, five gallons, five gallons. That, that shit gets annoying. So, you know, I came up with this little method so I don't have to lift the bucket at all. <laughs> uh, Alright, so the things I need need some hose. Uh, got my tube, my little uh, PVC pipe thing here that uh, it's my J Bliss pipe that I call it. You know, I got the idea from him. And uh, I got my gravel vac. Every every now and then, every uh, every few water changes, I'll siphon the sand. I don't have a deep sand bed, so I, I like to siphon my sand to keep it clean. I uh, probably should do it this time because my sand is kind of dirty. I got some diatoms on the sand since I added my uh, my new rock, but I'm not gonna clean it just because I don't feel like it today. <laughs> uh, in the in the kitchen, I got my 25 gallons of salt water mixing, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, other than that, let's get started. All right, all set up. I got my uh, J Bliss pipe in the water. See, that's all that is. And I got my um, hose hooked up to it. That runs down and into back into my bathtub. So now here's the deal. I had to mark off exactly 20 gallons or 25 gallons. Um, the way I did that was I cut the water off and I stopped it at a certain point and I put a, a suction cup. I didn't know what to mark with. I didn't really want to put, you know, something on the outside of the glass, like a piece of tape or something, because when you look at it, it was a little weird. So I put a suction cup. So once that water level hits the top of that suction cup, I stop the water with these valves. After I turn off the pumps, I stop the water with the valves. Then I start the siphon on the hose, right? And I let that drain. It takes about five minutes until it gets here. And then I pull the hose out, and that's exactly 20 gallons. And I have my, I have, I mix up, I keep saying 25 because I mix up 25 gallons. Because if I do uh, the gravel vac, I siphon out five gallons. So that five gallons with the 20 gallons, that makes my 25, and it's usually on point. I haven't had a problem with it yet. Alright, so what I need to do is turn my pumps off, turn my ATO off. I have a separate ATO. Um, actually picked up a Apex Junior and got it running and I freaking love this thing, man. It's awesome. I'm actually going to make another video on that another day. But for right now, I'll just show you. I got to turn my pumps off and then once that water hits that uh, suction cup, I'm going to turn my valves off. So, right, let me turn my AT off first, and then I'll show you here. On my phone, I do everything from my phone now. It's freaking crazy. Go there. There's my Apex. My temps at 90, uh, 79. Go to my outlets, and I'm gonna turn. I'm actually gonna turn my heater off because I don't want my heater heating up this last changer, and once it once it pumps water. Pump some boiling hot water in there. So, I'm gonna, uh, let's see. Turn my heater off, main pump off, skimmer off. And there it goes. Here it gurgling. So now, this is draining there. It's getting lower and lower. And I'm gonna go down here and turn these off. Okay, boom, now they're off. Those are off. That's where I want it to be. Now I start my siphon. So I'm going to go to the end of this hose. I'm not going to go into my bathroom right now, but I'm going to go to the end of the hose, start the siphon, and siphon out those 20 gallons. And uh, be right back. Alright, in the meantime, I want to just show you my where I make the water. Right under my RODI system in my kitchen. So I fill it up, I got my levels here, 20 gallons, 25 gallons. I'll take this off. I got my heater in there. My thermometer. 
and a, uh, a Mag 9. Stirring the water. Let's see if we can see this. It's a little low right now. It's at like 78, but you know, it's close enough. So, plus I got another like five minutes while that's siphoning out. We'll leave this on. And then I'll bring it over there and show you what I do. Alright? Alright, so now once I get it to the desired water level, so now I've dropped all that. I just lift this up and break the siphon, which I actually already did. So, now it took out exactly 20 gallons. Right there, that's 20 gallons. So, I take the other end of the hose, which usually goes into the bathtub. I have a, a, a connector that extends it to go to the bathtub. I disconnect that. I take this hose. I put it on my Mag 9 that was in my water stirring with this little makeshift thing here. See, I put this on here when I'm stirring the water so I can angle the water wherever I want. I could make it go like uh, in a circular motion. I don't know. I fear it helps. So uh, let me just put this down. Looks like I use two hands. Alright. So I take my pump. Put it back in the water. Alright. That's good. My outlet. I could hook this up to a switch. I have that switchboard. Boom. There you go. Now it's pumping that water back in. Of course, I matched my levels up. You know, the heat. I got it close enough. And the, uh, the salinity. I raised my salinity up just a little bit because uh, uh, it, with the salinity in my tank is, is 1.022. And I want to bring it up to like 1.023. So every time I do one of these, I uh, I raise the salinity. Like right now, the salinity of this water was 1.024. So, and I leave my pumps on to kind of help, you know, mix things up a little bit. So if anything is off, it won't be like a concentrated, you know. So. Alright, so I let this sit. This will take another few minutes. Oh, look at that. It's been like 30 seconds. It's already halfway up. I let this go until it gets all the way up. I unplug it and I'll show you what I do then. Alright, that took about three minutes. And now we're at the desired level, even a little bit higher, which is alright. And I just unplugged it. So, let's just pull this out. Put this on here. There you go. I got another five gallons of salt water. I could keep it in a container, or uh, I could even do a, a wet skim water change if I feel like it. You know, which I have another video on that, which uh, I really like doing wet skim water changes. You know, I, I do that sometimes with this extra five gallons here. Um, and let me back this up here. Alright, so here we go. Get my bucket all out of the way. Everything's ready to go. Just so you know, this brute, I got on wheels. This thing, it, it, it makes my life so much easier having this on wheels. You know, I can just make the water over there, bring it in here. So, as you can see, I haven't lifted one bucket. I haven't done anything. You know, no heavy lifting. This whole water change probably took 10 minutes without breaking a sweat. It's the easiest thing in the world doing it this way. So now, what I'm gonna do is go down here, got my phone ready to turn on the pumps. I'm gonna open these guys up. Open those guys up. Turn my pumps on. I'm not gonna turn my skimmer on just yet. Turn my main pump on. Boom. There it goes. It's that freaking fast, man. It's crazy. So I got my main pumps going. 
let the water circulate a little bit drain of my sump I'm also going to turn my heater back on alright now that that's going turn my skimmer on <laughs> oh my god that's freaking crazy I'm sorry man I'm still amazed at this apex <laughs> this is awesome usually I change my filter socks I'm actually going to change that out in a minute because I'm also going to uh, switch the um, I'm going to uh, change the, the roll of force media I got in there so I'm going to switch that also I just wanted to make this video real quick and that's it man you know? My water level is a little higher because I, I left that extra bit of water, which is fine because now when some of this water evaporates, it's going to raise my salinity just a little bit. So it's going to help, help me out both ways. So, and that's it. No bucket water change. Love it. All right. I hope this helped. I'm also going to plug my ATO in. And, you know, maybe I can help you guys out, give you some new ideas. Because, you know, once I started doing it this way, it made my life a hell of a lot easier. Alright, people. Later.